Paul, I'm from Rio Driving School and here today I'm going to talk about the Parallel Park. I've got the lovely Rhea with me today. Um, sorry Rhea, we, we shouldn't be identifying you should we for this? No, because now everyone's going to look and be like, that's no, real. <laughs> talk to me, talk talk to me about your experience with the Parallel Park. So I've not actually taught you this yet, have I? And, uh, You've had a go at this with your dad, am I right? Yep. So what, what what's happened so far with that? Um, basically, he did. He was like, he got two cones. We went to like a car park. Okay. And you know, like the entrance of a car park. Yeah. Well, not the entrance, but like, do you know the bingo in Bentley? Yes. We went there. Right. So like, you know, by the entrance to the bingo. Okay. Like where the doors are. Yeah. You put two cones there within like one and a half car distance. Okay. And basically made me parallel. Oh, right. So that. you were trying to reverse around a cone and finish parallel yeah. to the cone in front. And yeah. Wow, that, that, that sounds tricky. How, yeah. how did it How did it work out? Well, I could do it. But then when I did, the more I did it, I couldn't do it. Okay. Do you just want to show me what you can do using that vehicle there in front or have you got any questions or concerns for me that I should be answering first? The only thing that I struggle with, I can wrap it round the car easy but it's just straightening it up into the line. Okay. And do like knowing when to straighten the wheel, that's the only problem. Do, do you want to have a go at this and we'll see yeah, what happens? Yeah, I'll try it but yeah. if, if anything goes wrong Paul that's it, it's game over for me. <laughs> well, if you want me to, I, I can, if you would feel more comfortable, I, I can go through what, what I would do, and then you can compare notes in your mind, or I can try and fix whatever happens if something goes wrong later, it's up to you. Yeah, I think that'll work more if what? I do it, and then you tell me what I've done wrong. Okay, let's do that then. As long as I don't hit the car, that's Super all right. fine. So, what do we need? Can I see? I'll just, I'll, I'll be quiet. For, for you for now, you just shout if you need any help, alright? Alright then, alrighty then, alrighty. Alright, so I'll just stop in the middle of the road. Yeah, I'm going to use that vehicle there, so I want you to imagine now that there's a space behind that vehicle. Alright. And I want you to reverse the car back and around the corner, right? finishing parallel to the kerb. Too far no away. problem. Tell you what, let's let's fix this. Go, just put yourself into forward gear and just bring yourself parallel to this car again. In fact, just get yourself back to your original angle, which was like that. That will do. That here. Yeah, that will do. Just stop there and just have another little go. All right then. Um, just relax, take a nice deep breath. You're gonna be fine. It's more nerve-wracking when it's a car rather than a car. give you a clue, you don't want the angle to be too big, so once we get to about a two o'clock angle, get your wheels straight now. Another turn to the right. That's it. And we just come back towards the curve. Now wrap it in. Yeah, yeah. yeah you've got it. Keep it like that. Yeah. What do you think we need to do with our wheels? Straighten the wheels. Okay, that'll do. Stop there. Is that it? That might be it. Relax for a minute. I'm just going to open the door. We'll have a little look, see how close we were to the curb. I think that's a bit far out. Okay, a little bit, but you might get away with that on the test. You don't want to be more than, you know, uh, about a foot ish away from the curb. So, yes, we can tighten that up, and I'm going to show you some ways how we can do that. A couple of things first. Uh, okay, I, I would be inclined to make some differences. So let's let's talk about some of the pros and cons to what I'm going to say now. All right. Mm -hmm. So 
number one um, when you're pulling up alongside a vehicle what would happen if um, there was a car like that one who's just come past us what would happen if you wanted to stop the car and then reverse into that space but there was a car behind you what uh, what, what would need to happen then how, how are we going to deal with that problem if you was in the middle of the road already so let's say you're just slowly driving down the road and you might even have a few cars behind you perhaps yeah but you want to stop the car in the middle of the road blocking everybody and then reverse the car into the space behind this one how are you going to warn people behind you or even people coming towards you that you're about to stop the car? Uh, would you put the brakes on? Well that, that's one signal that they're going to see when you slow down isn't it? Mm. Is, there, is, there another, is there another way we can warn people that we're about to pull over but our curb is actually the side of that car? Indicator. Okay, that's another one. You could do that. If you were to use the indicator though, the what might they think you're going to do? turn left possibly you, onto a driveway if there's yeah. one there or they might think you're going to pull over in front of that car so what other signals have we got that we could possibly use in this, in this situation so we're not talking about indicators or brakes now what other signals have we got hands yeah maybe what's that I'm going there okay do you think they'd see that that's true actually, because if not. they're behind, yeah. then you know. Um, what about this? I was about to say your hazards, you've just literally... Okay, wonderful. So what, when, when are we allowed to use hazards and what conditions? Um, when you're broken down okay. in the middle of the road. <coughs> Potentially, yeah. Um, and you are just... warning everybody that you are a temporary obstruction yeah. in the road. So perfect, isn't it? It's a stronger signal. It's more unusual than the left indicator. So people may, in my experience, hold back wondering what, what it is that you're doing. When you put the car into reverse gear, yeah. now the reverse lights come on the back of the car, don't they? Which is a new signal telling everybody you're going to go backwards. And now the piece clicks into place in their head. Yeah. So my advice to you is number one, as you come forward, check all around your mirrors and everything, see what's coming towards you. Hazard warning lights go on to warn people that you are about to do something. Okay. Your brake lights come on next. Now the car behind you potentially knows that you are slowing down or stopping. And then when you have stopped, you're going to put it into reverse gear. The reverse lights come on, so you've got three separate signals telling everybody yeah. what's going on. Then, you have to turn those hazard warning lights off. When you're in the space or when you're turning into it? Before you move the car backwards. Oh, right, okay, before we get going any further, see that lady there that just got out of the car? Yeah. What did she do wrong? What, 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 what kind of problem has she created by... Parking there. She's not as tight to the curb. Would you say? Have a look at the gap. Would you say that a fire engine or a large lorry delivering a sofa maybe, would he be able to get through that gap? No. Right. Therefore, she shouldn't have done it. See, you shouldn't park anywhere where the widest vehicle could not get through. So now she's created a problem. We can't continue this class here. We're going to have to move the class. All right. All right. Okay, part two of the lesson there. We've now moved our class to a different location so that we're not causing a problem to all the other road users. Um, it's something that we cannot avoid. If someone parks opposite us, um, we've just got to move the class. We become the problem. We have to move. So that's what we've done now. So we've got the car in front now, Ria. Um, yeah. We were talking briefly uh, about using a hazard warning lights and rule 116 of the highway code says you can use your hazard warning lights to warn other road users that you are a temporary obstruction in the road that for me al although it it is a talking point between driving instructors and people do teach it slightly differently in some cases but for me having weighed everything up I, w I would react 
with more caution if I saw hazard warning lights. I think a lot of people would they'd hold back a little bit potentially, wondering what, what's going on instead of getting too close. Because if a car gets too close behind us, we can't do the manoeuvre. Yeah, we can't. We won't be able to reverse back. We are a problem. We are in the way. We have to abandon what we're doing and move again. So that's my thoughts on it. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to pull up alongside this vehicle. Now I noticed what was your start position before you came forward. You went a little bit further forward past that car there. In a way that was good. Um, how far forward is enough though? And why? Mm. What was you what were you taught to do by your dad and well, did he give you a reason for with it? the cone with the cones where they were on the side basically okay. i pulled out so i could see both the cones in my like left or right mirror oh i get you so in the case of the car here what you did was you pulled far enough for so you could see the front of the car in, in that door mirror there is that yeah right? okay all right we don't need to go quite that far forward in this situation yeah i only have to go to where the end of the car is isn't it I personally would go forward. If you imagine that car is like a box, yeah. That way, this will always work, no matter which way around the vehicle is pointing. It will, it will work if you are doing it next to a van or a skip that's been left in the road, or even if you need to reverse into a layby. Perhaps this will always work. Okay. So imagine that is a box, and you're going to move the car forward so that the furthest corner of that box or that vehicle in front of you is lined up with your left shoulder here so see your shoulder yeah you're just going to bring the car forward and line your shoulder up with these front lights all right then. nice and easy if the car's turning the other way you're going to line up the back lights dead easy okay you don't want to be too close to the car but you don't want to be too far away either what's sensible well you don't want to be that close that you risk losing your door mirrors do you so I'd be about, about, about half, there. Half, I'd say double that, about, about, yeah, about at least, at least half a metre, maybe a bit more. I mean, here in this road, I'd say, and, and particularly if you're in a very, very narrow road, I would be trying to bring the car forward and have an equal amount of space between the car on this side and the kerb and the kerb on that side of the road. Because if you're too far away from the car and mm. very close to the kerb, what's going to happen when you start turning the wheels and you go backwards? You're going to... You're going to go that way, aren't you? You're going to hit the grass, aren't you? Yeah. You're hit the kerb on that side. So, I'd just stand for the middle, or at least half a metre uh, half a metre from the car, right? So that's step number one. You're going to bring the car forward. Yeah. You're going to put... You're going to check your mirrors, of course. Yeah. You're going to put your hazard warning lights on. You're going to make sure the car is straight and your wheels are back to being straight again and make sure your door, your your shoulder is lined up with the front corner of that vehicle. All right. All right. Item number two now, you're going to check all around the car. Yeah. You started moving the car back, which was obviously correct. Did you check before you moved the car back when you demonstrated it to me? No. Right, where did you look? I saw you look some places, but where, where did you look? That side was it? Yeah, you did. Yeah, why? You were interested in lining things up correctly, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, rather than the stuff behind me. So, so what, I need what, to what look. What can go wrong? A car could be coming. There you go. So I need to look that side. You could. You, it's difficult, isn't it? Because you're trying to line things up. You've also got to keep your eye on yeah, what's well, going the on car's around moving you. Yeah, moving as well. Yeah, so, so if you were to lower your window, you can use your ears as well, and you can hear movement as well as look for it. Yeah, I'll right. do that then. So we'll do that in a minute, because we, 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 you're just talking at the minute, so we'll bring that down. It's, it's, it's a good idea. If it's not tipping it down with rain, I like to bring my, my windows down, and then I can hear for problems as well. Would we react to other road users? See that couple that's just walked past there? No, not unless they're crossing the road. Exactly, all right. Yeah, so we keep a wary eye on them. Yeah, because they're minding their own business. Yeah. So you've got to... Sounds a bit crude to say this, but you've got to assume that everybody's stupid. And you've got to assume that they might not be on their medication and they're just going to step out behind the car and you've got to react and, and almost expect that to happen, all right. 
So we're going to bring the car backwards now and we're going to look everywhere first, okay? How far back do you think we need to go? How far back did you try to bring the car back? Oh, that's a tricky one. Um, it doesn't have to be tricky. Do you want the easy answer? Yeah. Okay, the easiest answer is we're trying to bring the car back so that the back of our car is sort of level with the corner of the car that we're trying to get around. So the back of our car needs to be level with the back of that car. How would we judge that? A nice, easy way that'll work in your car at home and any car that you're doing it in, right? If you look over this shoulder in the back yeah. seat there, can you see the seat belts in the back seat? Yeah. Bring the car back in a straight line and line the seat belts up with the corner that you're trying to get around. So you would line those seat belts up with his back lights. That's up. That's that's wow. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to stop. It'll be time then to start steering the wheels which will bring the car around the back of that vehicle. What happens to the front of our car when we do that? If we're trying to... If we're steering to get round that corner, what happens to the front of our car? It flings out this side, right? doesn't it? So if you know that, what could go wrong? The car could be coming. Right. So, you so where are you going to check? That side. Yeah, very, very important. You know, how would you feel if you'd knock someone off a bicycle? because you, were, you weren't looking over there. No, so if necessary, if you want to, just pause the car just for a moment, quick check over that shoulder, make sure it's clear, and then you can proceed. Also, just look behind you as well, because uh, like I've said before, people might step out. All right. Yeah. Right, now, we're gonna steer the wheel one turn to the left. Let's make this very, very easy for you. We're gonna tur turn the steering wheel one turn towards me, because we want the back of the car towards the curb. Okay. Then, when we get to the angle that we were before, which was about a two o'clock angle, do you yeah. remember that? Get your wheel straight. The first time we did it, our angle was almost at three o'clock. Yeah. Which was far too far. All right, so two o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, it doesn't matter about. All right, get your wheel straight. Then we're going to slowly let the car come back at an angle towards the kerb. You said to me, oh, I think I, I need to turn turn the steering wheel now you told me that it felt right to you didn't it okay we're going to do that again in a moment but we're going to let the car come back a little bit closer than before so that we end up a little bit close to the curb and then all we got to do is straighten up the wheels when we're parallel to the curb okay do you want me to do it with you or do you want to have a go and i'll prompt you a little bit um I'll probably do it with me first and then the second time i do it do it then prompt me Perfect. and then I'll do it on my own. Alright, All right, I'll just pop my belt on. Okay. Okay, so when you're ready. This junction's interesting. I'll tell you now, they use it on the driving test from time to time. Can you think of a reason why it would be a good because, challenge? Because cars keep coming round, so you have yeah, to look at it's everywhere. quite busy. It's quite busy. So yeah, in a moment we're gonna have the windows down to help you um here. All right, so yeah. let's get the engine on. We're going to relax if other vehicles come towards us. Uh, there's nothing we can do. If we rush, we might get it wrong and then they'll end up having to wait longer. So we're just going to take a deep breath and just concentrate on what we're doing. All right, and I'll be with you, okay? Yeah, I know. You've got pedals, so I'm fine. Okay, all right. So number one then, we're going to slowly bring the car forward. All right, let me just check the Blind spots. Right. Okay, get your bike ready because we might roll back here. Alright. Okay, let's check over that right shoulder. Are we all clear to go? No, there's a bus. Okay, let's just hang on a sec. And then there's a car. Okay, no worries, okay. Mm. Release your handbrake then, let's bring the car forward. Nice and slowly in first gear only. Release the handbrake. Let's steer out. Put your hazard warning lights on. Straight up the car. This is about half a metre. Steer in towards me. Cool. That's it. Go a little bit further forward. Line your shoulder up with the front lights. Oh, front lights, front lights. Yeah, relax. Put your brake. Pause yeah. there. Relax. It's fine. Handbrake on. Yeah. Off the brake pedal. Mm -hmm. Reverse gear. Got one waiting. Just relax into reverse gear. Yeah, maybe. Neutral. 
Okay, yeah. cover the brake pedal because we're going to roll back. Alright. Okay, check all around now. I'm not going to take any chances. Uh -huh. Okay, release your handbrake. Look towards me and the seat belts. Line them seat belts. Keep the wheels straight. Yeah. Let the car come back in a straight line. Line those seat belts up with the corner of the car, the back light. Right, when you get there, just pause. Yeah. Check over your right shoulder now. Is it clear for us to carry on? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Off the brake. Let it roll a little bit more. Yeah. Steer one turn towards me. So look at your steering wheel. See where it says forward. Keep steering, keep steering, keep steering, keep steering, keep steering. Look at the steering wheel. It's got to say forward. Oh. There. Yeah. Now it's, we've got a whole turn. All right, because we're nearly there. Would you say that's about two o'clock? Yeah. Pause so, there then. Right. Get your wheel straight. Look behind you towards the path. Yeah. Okay, let's bring the car back nice and slowly. Keep just looking around, looking for any any problems. We've got car. one behind us, they're going to wait. Carry on, they can't get round us yet. Alright, All right. take it nice and steady. Relax, it's going to be fine. Relax, do a nice stretch. You can see the curb. Yeah. Tell me when the curb disappears. And when it does, I just want you to gently pause the car for a second. It disappears. Okay, just wait there. Do a nice big stretch. He's moving around you now because you're out of the way. Okay, yep. do a big stretch. Can you see the curb again? Yeah. Let the car come back a bit more. Tell me when it disappears. All right, it's gone now. Okay, one turn to the right. Look at your steering wheel. That's it, lovely. Keeping the wary eye on the people around us. Yeah. Just keep checking around like an all seeing owl all yep. the time. When you feel as though we're parallel to the curb and we look straight there, I want you to quickly bring the steering wheel straight. There you go, done. And brake right. on. Mm -hmm. Okay, relax. How was that? How did that feel? That was easier. Yeah? Um, yeah, it was good. It was good. Nice um, that you didn't try to rush because when we rush, we make mistakes. Uh, so just, just think to yourself okay, there's someone behind me. It doesn't matter if they start using the horn, if they're impatient or revving the engine. You've just got to, you've just got to take your time because something could be happening somewhere else, and they might not be able to see it. All right, so just, just relax. I'm just go open the door. The reason because to curb, you can get away with being that far away. You can get away with being that far away. We could get even, even tighter than that. All right. Um, have you got any questions or concerns about it in general? No, that was that was easier. Okay. So, do you want to have another go? Do want, yeah. Do you want to do it yourself? Yeah. There was one mistake that we made. I, I, I was, didn't turn these off. Well done. Yeah, yeah. We we need to turn them off. We're not allowed to drive with them on. And it it was it was a mistake on my part. Really, I should have I should have prompted you to do that. I uh, I could see other road users coming round and. I started to get a little bit tense. I wanted to keep you on ice. <laughs> All right. So anyway, let, let, let's do it again. So, All right, then. bring the car forward. How close to the side of that vehicle are we going to get? Half a meter. Okay. All right. And how far forward are we going to go? To where? Where's your shoulder going to line? Front of his. Good. Front of his car. Yeah. That's All right. right. Let's All do right. it. Alright, there's a car coming. Alright. Okay, how are we going to warn everybody we're going to strike them? Perfect. Oh, that's about half a meter, like that's isn't it? fine. Alright, shut up there. Straighten up your wheels. That'll do nicely, good. Yep. Handbrake on. Off the brake pedal. Reverse gear. Alright. Relax. Okay, check all around then. Okay, we're going to let the car come back in a straight line. Can you remember where we need to line the seat belts? The back of his Okay, car. let's do it. Alright So when you get there, just pause for a moment. Lovely. Where do we need to look now before we steer? Okay, do that. Are we all good? Yeah. Okay. I'll get the brake right. pedal then, let it roll. Which way are we going to steer? Left. Yeah, go on then. So. Quickly. All turn. Perfect. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Turn those off again. And then, what sort of angle are we about looking for? About 2 o'clock, so okay. this is we'll a Okay, we'll have a look. I think that's 12. 
because it's for three o'clock there, and it's so. Uh, yeah. So about here. Okay, get your wheels straight then. Okay. Anyone behind us? No. Keep checking, keep looking. Okay, let's bring the car back towards the curb. This time we're going to try and get it even tighter to the curb, all right? Just keep looking around. Don't just rely on looking at um, at the curb. There's things that can go wrong, all right? <gasps> the one here is looking to get past, so just, uh, just pause there now. Let him go past. That's cool. Don't use, use the time well though don't just sit here watching him actually think okay while he's moving let's look all around okay keep your eyes up nice big stretch in your seat can you see that curb no I'm not stop anymore. there then one turn to the right let the car move in not a hold steer that's yeah. it that's it that's lovely keep checking around see what i mean yeah yeah we have to react quickly here it's very very busy keep looking Okay, just keep your head moving like an all-seeing owl. Now what do we need to do when we're parallel? Straighten the wheel. Yeah, do that. Good. Job done. Handbrake, neutral. Okay, right. How does that feel? Good? Yeah? Easy? Yeah. Think you can yeah. Do right. A couple of things I want to say it's to you. It's just turning the hazards off, that's the thing. Yeah, we've got to remember to do that. The other thing, I mean, it's not the end of the world, not ideal though. The other thing is, uh, when we're steering the wheel, try not to dry steer. What, do you know what dry steering is? Yeah, that's what I get told off about. What, what is it? It's like steering without the car moving, so like it can okay. wear out your tyres and stuff. Would it be a problem on your driving test? I feel like it would. Actually, no, they don't care. They don't care if you dry steer because it's not their car for a start. They actually put in extra wear and tear on your vehicle, or in this case, my vehicle. Mm. But it's not good to do, it's not best practice. You want to be moving the, the wheels very, very slowly uh, in order to minimise wear to the steering linkages on your power steering or, or indeed your tyres as well. But that's it. Uh, one last thing, a bit annoying, I've never seen you do before handbrake. What's, what's, what are you doing with the handbrake? You're all going click, 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 click. We're ratcheting it up, aren't we? You don't normally do that. I didn't notice. Yeah. One last thing before we finish this. Uh, I have said to you today, you know when you get reverse gear, have you noticed we put our handbrake on and then you come off your brake pedal before you select reverse gear? Yeah. Do you know why we do that? Because, right, the brake messes up with the reverse gear. Yes, 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 brilliant. The brakes are on the same hydraulic system to to the reverse gear. Is that in every car then? I don't actually know. It's in all the vehicles that I've ever driven, particularly the Fords. So, yeah, the correct way to select reverse is to apply the handbrake and then it will go in 100% of the time. Right. Okay. That's it, well done, excellent. 